Hey, what's up guys? Uh, ben here. Welcome to your 12th installment of the FRC Team 2485 Java programming tutorial videos. So, let's get started. This is a fun one. Today we're going to be talking about how to use the controllers um, in order to control your subsystem. So, one cool thing is that uh, I, I put the controllers class that we wrote and that we use in um, in the re repo, so you will, guys will get that if you clone the repo. So um, I'm going to be using some of the methods, some of the constructors from that class, and it makes everything uh, pretty, pretty, pretty simple, I'd, I'd say. So uh, let's let's get started with all that. Um, first thing, <laughs> anytime I see the star, I just save it. I don't know if that happens to you. Hate the star. <laughs> um, Okay, so we need to come in here, and we need to um, we need to create. Uh, we need to uh, what do we need to do? We need to first construct the controllers so that we can use them, and then later we'll program the rollers to um, to interact with the <laughs> controllers the way that we want them to. Um, okay, so in order to get started here. We are going to uh, um okay. In order to get started here, we're gonna come into here and we're gonna um just declare this static method. So controllers has a static method, the set method. So controllers is a static class. We made it like so you can just call a method on it, the set method. Um, and it's gonna take. Uh, there's a joystick class that WPI lib provides you. So it's just gonna take the joysticks in all of the ports. Um, and the way on the driver station you can configure the. Uh, joysticks to be like in whatever position you want. So we just think about it. Think about it as like the left joystick is, um, the left joystick is the uh, joystick number zero, and then the right joystick is joystick number one, and then like the operator joystick one is the joystick number two, I guess. And then so you can just organize it that way, and then quickly once you plug everything in, you can change that up in the driver station. Um, Okay, so let us get started here. So we're gonna create a new joystick um, and just give it the port number zero because then you can memorize that that's not memorize, but like when you set up your joysticks, then you'll go in and um, it'll just be zero right there for you, ready to go, really easy. Um, simple to do that. Joystick one. And then new joystick two. And actually, I think hopefully this constructor exists. New joystick um, three, because we were using four joysticks last year. Awesome. Okay, so now your joysticks are all set up and ready to go. And you will now be able to use those in Teleop periodic in order to tell like when a button has been pressed so that you can um, do what you want your subsystem to do. So this is when it starts to get cool. This is when it's like a really teleop, tel tele operated robot. Because now you're actually controlling. It. Um, so I'll just describe this in the, this video, and then I'll write out some code for the uh, for the ratchet in the second video. Um, so in this one, we're just gonna we have a simple if in the teleop periodic method. So every five seconds, we're gonna check to see whether or not. Um, the get the left joystick button number one, which is the trigger, is pressed. And if it is pressed, then we're going to intake the tote um, at 0.5, so at half speed. So these rollers are going to be running at half speed, bringing the tote in. And then if it's not pressed, this is important. If you don't press this, then it'll just set to 0.5, and it'll keep going <laughs> um, like until your program stops. So you have to have the else if so that if it isn't pressed, then it returns the intake to, to zero. Um, I don't know if that needs to be 0, 0.0. Uh, I don't know. That looks nicer to my eyes because the mono space right down the middle there. 
But um, yeah, so that's pretty simple. Um, just an if else if statement, and that's going to give you the functionality of okay, I'm pressing the joystick, rolling in the rollers, bringing the tote. Okay, I'm not pressing it now. I'm not doing it. And you could even like put it in something else there. If you're pressing a different button, you're sending the tote out. Um, but you don't really need that. This is the basics of how to control a subsystem using the controllers and using the controllers class, which is very useful. Um, so, uh, in the next video, we will be talking about how to control the ratchet system using the joystick, and we'll be writing some code for that. So, uh, I hope you stick around, and I hope that was helpful. Thank you.